Hello and thank you for choosing Bellinger. We hope that the following video is informative. It's critical when diagnosing an issue to get some information first. This can be done by gathering information from the fault code screen, the alarm screen, and also the capture screen. If you need any further information, contact our parts and or technical support departments. Okay, what we're looking at here is our top wheel cylinder. The main parts of the top wheel cylinder are the, the clevis at the rod end of the cylinder, which engages the linkage. You have your flow control. In this case, what we're doing is we're controlling air, not air over oil. We're controlling air to slow the upward motion of the top wheel. And then, depending on the age of your, your freestyler, you may have a reed switch which indicates that the top wheel is all the way up, mounted on the cylinder. Or on newer model freestylers, you'll actually have a proximity sensor mounted externally from the passenger side pod, reading that the top wheel is up. This is the top wheel air cylinder as it's shown inside the driver's side pod of the freestyler. Right here you will have the clevis that's attached to the linkage that actually actuates the top wheel. Right here will be the rod end of the cylinder, and this will be the cylinder itself. If you can see right here, this is going to be a brass flow control that actually controls air. It can be tightened or loosened to control the speed of the top wheel, whether it's going up or down. This is an older style top wheel cylinder, which means it does not have the reed switch on the actual cylinder itself. Now when the machine is in its resting state and at the home position, we want to go from our main screen, go to user, and go to monitor inputs. And we want to verify that our exit passenger side out, exit driver side out, top wheel up, enter passenger side out, and enter driver side out, ovals are all filled in. That means that the brushes are up and out and away and they're ready to have a car come into the car wash. Now we're going to force on top on and top down and we're going to verify that the top wheel is functioning correct going up and down and then we have proper soap and chemical going under the top wheel brush. The following screens will be a step-by-step -step summary of the video segment you just watched.